kule kutafuta uhuru. Amen. Kisha we were discussing. Tulikuwa tunazungumza the reason why the youth church sababu ile kwamba kanisa la vijana are struggling in sin wanangangana katika dhambi and we found out na tukapata ni kwamba that uh, there is a problem in the church currently ya kwamba kuna shida kanisani sasa hivi pursuit for freedom inside the church kutafuta uhuru ndani ya kanisa and we used the book of Luke 15 na tukatumia kitabu cha Luka 15 to discuss that kuelezea hiyo and it was a beautiful beautiful service na ilikuwa ibada ya kupendeza kupendeza zaidi and now today we have this kwa hivyo sasa tunayo hii this is for the, the last of the first quarter hii ni ile ya Ya mwisho. Miezi minne ya mwisho. The first quarter is 3 months. Miezi minne ya kwanza. Matatu mitatu. Mitatu ya kwanza. And then now uh, the next maybe will come in June. Na kwa hivyo ile nyingine itakuja mwezi wa sita. And so I want to thank you when ever since we began this. Na kwa hivyo nataka kuwashukuru tangia tulianza hii. I have seen the the number of the youth increasing. Nimeona idadi ya vijana ikienda juu. There is a serious increase in the number of the youth church. Kuna idadi ya kuanisha vijana kwenda juu. I can see the number is growing. Ninaweza kuona idadi inakuwa. And I'm very glad. Nami nina furaha sana. And when I see my daughters and my sons who are very very new they are like one month old wakati ninaona binti zangu na wanangu ambao ni wapya wapya kabisa yapata mwezi mmoja and then two months three months old in the and ministry miezi miwili miezi mitatu katika huduma it is a beautiful place to be ni mahali pa kupendeza sana kuwa we cherish your presence in this place tunatambua wepo wenu mahali hapa tunaipenda sana tunaipenda sana so i welcome each one of you beloved people hivyo ninakaribisha kila mmoja wenu watu wapendwa i uh, began last week by telling you last time by telling you wakati uliopita nilianza kwa kuambia I am qualified to call you my sons and daughters. Ya kwamba mimi nimefunzwa kuhitimu kuwaita wanangu na mabinti zangu. Not because of my spiritual responsibility. Sio kwa sababu ya wajibu wangu wa kiroho. But because of my age. Ni kwa sababu ya umri wangu. My first born is already having a baby. Mzaliwa wangu wa kwanza tayari anaye mwana. My first born I, I already have the grand child. Mimi tayari ninaye mjukuu. And the first one is I mean so that can tell you that I'm I'm old. Kwa hivyo hiyo inaweza kukuambia kwamba mimi ni mzee. When my children came from school. Wakati watoto wangu walitoka shuleni. On Friday and yesterday. Jana na yapata siku iliyopita. I always live here very late around saa saba saa sita daily. Kila wakati usiku. Kila siku usiku ninatoka hapa yapata saa sita saa saba usiku. So when I when I I I've never met them. Kwa hivyo hapa awali sikuwahi kutana nao. So I saw them in the morning today. Nami nikaona leo asubuhi. So when I met them. Kwa hivyo nilipopatana nao. I was so shocked of how tall they are. Nilishtuka sana kwa wamerefuka jinsi gani. I was so shocked. Nikashtuka sana. And so when we were leaving now uh, for them to come to church. Kwa hivyo tulipanda tulipokuwa tukiondoka ili kwamba wapate kuja kanisani. I saw big people. Niliona watu wakubwa. Tall. Warefu. Baby wa wengi then i realize i have grown kisha nikagundua ya kwamba nimekua i just realized i nimekua mzee kwa hivyo nikakwambia kwamba nimekua i know you people don't want to be mzee but you will be mzee najua yenyu watu mtakao when i went to the mirror today i saw white hair i said wow nilipoenda kwenye kioo leo niliona nywele nyeupe nikasema zinaongezeka zinaongezeka i say oh, 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 oh. the sunset days siku when you are inatua siku ambayo jua inatua so um, um, um I, 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 i'm happy to have you kwa hiyo nina furaha sana kuwa nani so i want to take like another four hours today ninataka kuchukua yapata masaa 4 leo to discuss with you the matters of the kingdom kuzungumza nanyi masuala ya ufalme the youth church kanisa la vijana you are the strength of the ministry of repentance and holiness ni nyinyi nguvu ya huduma ya toba na utakatifu last time i told you here wakati uliopita niliwaambia ni hapa that if someone goes to karura forest ya kwamba iwapo mtu anataenda msitu wa karura and you find that person cutting down big trees na unapata yule mtu akikata miti mikubwa then you go and take lunch 
Because he will not be harming the nation. But if you find someone is cutting down young trees, you need to call the KDF, the Kenya Defense Forces Officers. That they may come and defend the land. Because they are the, the small trees are the future of the forest. It's the future of the forest. Bona sifiwe. Bona sifiwe. In the same way, the youth church is the future of the church. I told you last time, at one point I was the youngest bishop in the land. I became a senior pastor 25 years. When I began to leave the church. And so you you can do it. You can never say you are too young. Remove that thing from you. A lot is expected from you. And that is why we do it up to late. Beloved people, you know that I have not even one day stayed at the cow conference for, 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 for men. I've not uh, been having the conference I've never even one day uh, held a conference for the women nor the, the widows, the orphans but the youth this looks to me like the third or the fourth is it the third or the fourth this is the fourth the fourth conference what does, what does it mean it means we are trying to ensure that this church is stable the youth church and so please in the mighty name of Jesus it is my humble request that you take a uh, this to action. You, 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 you cherish this. When you catch it, when you catch it, then, then leave as it says. And also share with the rest. Many people are coming. I know the church will be very big. Very, very big. And when they come, they will fully depend on you people to guide them to the righteousness of God. So I just want to thank you very much for remaining. Now, for today, I want to do a very powerful message with you. Let me begin by asking you how many are having the big black books. I've been training something in this church silently. How to cherish the word. Uh, cherish I don't know, I think love or something, but cherish the word. You always see that the teachings I have are printed and they are covered. I am doing this to teach you that peace get a, a book and a pen and write it. There is a time I was preaching a message to the youth church of Mombasa and that will come in the fourth se fifth session. The message was right. That was the topic of the message. And the angel said to me right. Right. So the importance of the message was so serious that he had to send the angel to go tell them to write. So, just write the word so you can be able to share with someone else. Beloved people, 
injili ya Yusufu. Look at beloved people. Nitazameni watu wapendwa. What is it that I want to talk about here? Kiki ni nini ambacho nataka kuzungumzia hapa? All of you understand. Nyinyi nyote muelewa. That Joseph was a young man. Ya kwamba Yusufu alikuwa kijana mchanga. A very um, a young man. Kijana mchanga kabisa. And as he was doing his life. Na alipokuwa anaishi maisha yake. Many things happened to him. Mambo mengi yalimtendekea yeye. That's what I want us to learn from. Na hiyo ndio maana nataka tuseme kutoka pale. A steady young man. Kijana adhabiti. Who stood firm and helped the church of his age a steady young man so the message is going to go around Joseph it will be around him there how Joseph sailed through the youth footstorm zile dhuruba za vijana the dhuruba ya ujana dhuruba ya ujana you be sharp because of time i'm very tired now so i want to be very stable he saying asema how joseph sailed through youthful storm jinsi yusufu alipitia zile dhuruba za ujana and that is what i want us to talk about with the people na hicho ndicho nataka tuzungumzie watu wapendwa I have categorized storms into many stages. At the last stage, we know that finished today. It was a very big teaching. That's why I wanted in 5 hours straight. Storm, storm number 6 that would be too far about saa 3 usiku. Dhuruba ya 6 hiyo itakuwa mbali sana yapata saa 3 usiku. problem because we have a bus to take you. The bus going to come and park inside here to take you home. Lakini hatuna shida maana tuna bus ambayo itakuja hapa ndani ili wakupeleka. The main scripture beloved people. Andiko lile Is the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 to verse 28. That is the main scripture. That is where we are grounding ourselves today. So I want to welcome your attention to that call your attention to that scripture. In the mighty name of the Lord. The book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 to 28. For those who are writing the gospel of Joseph how Joseph sailed through youthful storms and so beloved people if you have a Bible open with me the book of Matthew chapter number 7 verse 24 to verse 28 therefore everyone who hears these words of mine kwa hiyo kila mtu ayaisikiaye haya maneno yangu and put them into practice na kuyatenda is like a wise man ni kama mtu mwenye busara who builds his house on the rock aliyejenga nyumba yake kwenye mwamba the rain came down mvua ikanyesha the stream rose mafuriko yakaja the wind blew na upepo ukavuka and beat against that house ukaipiga hiyo nyumba yet it did not fall lakini haikuanguka because its foundation because it it had its foundation on the rock but everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice it's like a foolish man who builds a house of the sun the rain came down the stream rose and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell with a great crash when Jesus finished saying this this thing The crowd was amazed at his teaching because he taught as one who had authority and not as their teachers of the law. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now. Sasa He is discussing two builders. 
He's talking about two builders. And I'll get close. And he's saying they were all laying the foundation. One dug very deep and laid the foundation of the rock. And the other one also laid his own foundation but laid it on top of the sun. And he's saying there was a time when there was uh, a time for testing. When, uh, when, uh, when, when the storm came the storms the storm came and, and, and tested the house and he said there was a big crash of the house that was laid on the sand but there is one thing that is coming out very clear in that scripture the wise builder and so today I'm talking about a wise youth a wise young person that is going to uh, at this hour, at this hour, uh, how to be wise in this hour and uh, to move well uh, in this stormy life. This teaching exalts wisdom of a servant who prepares early before the storm. What I'm teaching today, what I'm teaching today is meant to exalt wisdom in the youth child to prepare yourself early knowing too well that your spiritual life as a youth will always face storms they are youthful storms that will always come your way. And so beloved people, this teaching is meant to prepare you the, 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 the wisdom inside there is meant to prepare you for the day that is coming the youthful storm that will come your way hallelujah you prepare early to face the storm because when they will come time is coming they will have to come and you hear him say the wise servant prepared before the storm they were ready for the storm meaning they were, meaning they were where it had to come they were ready for the storm they were waiting for it beloved people this means the key word in this teaching will be obedient the obedience of the youth church because you will see that what saved Joseph at the end of it all is his ability to obey obedience beloved people and so this teaching is supposed to exalt obedience in the youth church you hear him saying the other one hears the word and does not practice and the other one hears the word and practice the word and based on their ability to practice the word their wisdom is seen during the storm at the time of testing their wisdom is therefore now elevated is seen because they were able to listen and practice the word because time comes when what will count is your ability to hear and practice the word people what does it mean 
Hearing the word and doing it is what I want this church to practice. The youth church. To hear and to practice the word as it is. What is it, beloved people? In saying, disobedient is failure to do the word. In this teaching also what we are going to talk about is the beauty of wisdom. Number one, that a wise youth is sensible. Sensible. Yeah, I think so. Even me, I believe so. No. I'm saying I believe what you're saying. Sensible should be akona kill, right? I'm gonna sense. I don't know what it's been. I'm gonna kill it, mamma. Your chairman has ever win a kill, mamma. I'm a A sensible is kuma kinika. Then the next person. Beloved people. What to append on? So sensible. A prudent youth church. The practical youth church. That is the wise church. Three things. Sensible. Prudent. And practical. Is summed up as a wise youth church. Church. So that is where I am today with our people in the mighty name of Jesus. You have come to the house of the Lord as a youth. What is my intention now that the Lord has brought you here to church? Now that the Lord has brought you, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to build a very stable church. In the book of Matthew chapter 24 that we've just, just recorded down. Thank you for coming. The book of Matthew 24 that you've just recorded down. Is elevating the wisdom of a servant. It is elevating the wisdom of the youth church, the wise young man, the wise young lady. You, okay, you can't stop to take off. What you say? You come here. Pastor, Pastor Inyama is already seated. And he is threatening you people. Lakini anawatia waga nini watu? Anawatisha. Anawatisha nini watu? And he's saying, Na asema, Come, I'm waiting. Come. Njo ni nangoja. Njo. I want people to come. We keep doing things. I'm. My office is is vacant. I'm not vacant, but it's not working well. Come. Nataka mje nini watu katika kisi yangu hai? So anybody who calls the youth meeting. Kwa hivyo mtu yote mbaya na ita kutano wa vijana. They normally think. That we call the youth meeting to discuss marriage. I say no. Marriage as a department, go discuss it there. We are discussing about the wisdom of the youth. 
Don't stop enters. Hallelujah. That's what we discuss. Do you want to discuss marriage? Enter there. The pastor Yama is waiting. If the door is open, he will tell you how to marry and who to marry and at what time and how to do a cake. Jeremiah's here. All those things you go ask there. But when you come like this, what we do? We take you to the journey, the hard journey of a wise youth. Unaingia tu pale kisha wanajua kile watakueleza lakini tukifika hapa tunaendelea tunazungumzia ile safari safari ngumu ya kijana Storm number one. The Ruba ya Kwanza. In the life of Joseph. Katika Maisha ya Yusufu. If you are writing, Ike Unandika. Hatred. Chuki. The book of Genesis 37 verse 1. Kitabu cha Mwanza 37 mstari wake ni wa kwanza. He said. Nasema. Genesis 11:1. Yakobo Mwanza 11 mstari wa kwanza. What are you talking about? It's not 11, it's 37, sir. It is 37 verse 1. I'm saying 11, that's not good, right? It is 37 1. He's saying, hey, I wish town can be that way every Sunday. Come and do an observe. He's saying, Jacob lived in the land where his father had stayed, the land of Canaan. This is the account of Jacob. Joseph, a young man of 17 years. If I were you, I underlined that. 17 years. I, I hate to ask people their years. But I may ask, how many are above that year? How many are older than Joseph? Very true. Very good now. Then Yusuf was small then, for the young man, not small but the three young. He's saying, Joseph, a young man of 17 years, was tending the, the flock of and with his brothers. The sons of Bilha and the sons of Zilpa, his, fa his father's wife. And he brought their father a bad report about them. Now Israel loved Joseph more than any of his sons, other sons. Because he had been born to him in his old age. And he had made an honest rock for him. When his brothers saw that, when they saw that their father had loved him more than any of them, they hated him. If I were you, I had learned that they hated him. Sana, we have some new visitors. Karibuni Sana, thank you. From Madare No, thank you. Karibuni Sana, we love you. We, we love you. Thank you very much. He's saying, when his brother saw that their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. Joseph had a dream. 
And when he told it to his brothers, the second time, they hated him even more. If I were you, I underline that again. Hate. When you see hate, you underline. They hated him even more. He said to them, Listen to this dream I have. We were binding sheep of grain out of the fields. When suddenly my sheep rose and stood upright while your sheaves gathered around mine and bowed down to it. Verse 8. His brother said to him, Do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? And they hated him all the more. If I were you, I would hate again. I underline. And they hated him even more because of his dream and what he had said. Then he had another dream and he told his brothers listen he said I had another dream this time the sun Jua. and moon Mwezi. and eleven stars Na were bowing down to me when he told his father as well as his brothers baba yake na zake. his father rebuked him baba yake and said Akasema, what is this dream you had gani hii uliota? will your mother Hivi kweli mama yako? and I Na mimi. and your brothers Na zako. actually come and bow down to the ground before you Tutakuja kukusodilia wewe hadichini. his brothers were jealous of him zaki ya wevo. but his father Na kept ki the matter lakini baba yake fine. lakini baba yake aliweka lile jambo hilo moyoni hallelujah hallelujah thank you let me begin there now acha nianzie pale sasa that's a good place to begin thank you my brothers from from modare north thank you for coming asanteni sana kutoka modare north kwa kuja there is a big 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 crusade coming this week this week kuna mkutano mkubwa kabisa wa hadhara wanakuja wiki hii Oh, Kenyatta University. Okay, Kenyatta University. And we have been invited all of us there. So the, you, the worship team, you are going to arrange the worshipers for 10 minutes. Remember when we had ours, they came and supported us very well. So we have to support them. Sit down, please. Thank you. Now look at that now. The first storm in the life of this young man. Growing very well in his home. The father loves him. His father loves him. That is uh, Jacob. And they're growing well. He is born to this man. At his old age. And he's saying. His father gave him a beautiful garment. A very beautiful garment. Very beautiful to show love and then when he goes to the field to take care of the sheep when he comes back he brings bad news about them so that, those are two different youths Joseph is loved by the father and he is doing well he has a good character but his brothers have bad character and you see the father don't love the brothers the father loved Joseph because of his good character. But something that is coming very beautifully there is when he is coming back from every time he comes from the field. He brings bad report about them. And they don't like it. They don't like it. But the Bible says they hate him for that. They hate him for the love of the father. And then he saying the three times that they were hated him was because of the goodness that was being unleashed by Jehovah in his life. And he saying, at this time, when he talked about the, the dream, the sheaves, bowing down, 
before him before his sheep and then they began saying will you really actually rule us so they were hating him for that we want to begin slowly from their beloved people the first question that really explained well of their heart do you intend to rule over us kwa kweli unakusudia kutotawala do you really intend to be a ruler over us kwa kweli unakusudia kutotawala that was a very big question that he asked him hilo ni swali kubwa kabisa waliomuuliza and they both said they hated him for that na biblia inasema wali mchukie kwa sababu will you actually rule us kwa kweli utatotawala that was the second question hilo ilikuwa swali la pili will you actually rule us je kwa kweli utatotawala then he say nasema the third one that his brothers were jealous over him reading from verse 1 to verse 11 and the family of the young men there is a storm and he's saying some big bad things are happening and there is a youth who is targeted by the rest of the youths because the father loves him he is bringing good report home so that we have to begin the report that comes of the youth church Very serious storm. A problem between the young men. Shida miongoni mwa wale vijana wa dodo. One is loud more than the other. Kwa mmoja anapendwa kuliko mwingine. And they're bringing problem big problem. Na wanaleta shida kubwa kabisa. And Joseph is dreaming. Na Yusuf anaota. But sometimes I say Joseph also was too careless. Lakini wakati mwingine anasema kwamba Yusuf naye hakujali sana. There are things that you don't keep talking of everywhere. Kuna vitu ambavyo usitahili kushinda umezungumza kuhusu kila mahali. Learn to be silent. Jifunze kunyamaza. As a young man. Kama kijana mchanga. It will save you trouble. Itakuokoa kutoka kwa shida. Because he's dreaming. Kwa sababu anaota. And his dreams are powerful. Na ndoto zake ni za nguvu kabisa. And they are too open. Na ziko wazi kabisa. Actually you can see God is speaking this young man. Unaona hata hivyo Bwana anazungumza kwa huyu mkijana mchanga. But he's too young to understand. Lakini ni mchanga kabisa kuelewa. The people will actually hit you for your dreams. Kwamba kwa kweli watu watakuchukia kwa sababu ya ndoto zako. So what he was supposed to do? Kwa hivyo hichi kile alichostahili kufanya. Was to receive them. Ilistahili azipokee. And go to God. Na aende kwa Mungu. Let her not sleep again. She slept for many hours. Ile masaa ilitosha. Sio ndio ile ilitosha. Alilala sana tukakubali because tulikuwa alikuwa kesha na tena hiyo. Yeah. So we say let us sleep out ahead. But after sleeping out ahead now so I see I in late tunakuwa apende So I want to begin by trying to tell you young men. Hivyo nataka kwanza kwa kwanza kuwaeleza nyinyi vijana wachanga. They say young men full of what? Full of dreams, right? Wanasema vijana wachanga waliojaa ndoto. Right now you live in dreams. Many of you are still dreaming. Your dreams have never become haijaanza kuwa reality. You are, you are keeping on dreaming. I dream I mean not a dream but you in dreams. You are thinking of how your world will be one day, right? For us already we have lived almost three quarters of our life. So the quarter remaining now we know is going to I know nothing is changing our preacher for life. Nothing is now going to change. So uh, I just need to move on and finish. I have a very uh, simple while work in this part. To preach educate the children, die and go to heaven. There's nothing more than that. 
That's the only thing I remain with. I couldn't how many you so me I already know how my life will be. You need about to go in. You are dreaming of one day becoming a boy lord, still becoming who? You are dreaming of still one day I want to be what? You are still dreaming, you still don't know how your life will be later. So Joseph was also in the same age. A young man of 17 years. And I've said, some of you are older than him. He is dreaming of being becoming a king. And he's carelessly sharing it. Carelessly talking too much about this thing. And he's not aware that some things from God you don't say. You keep quiet and trust God. The more you speak about them, the more it raises hostility around you. And you keep talking too much. Some of you are too much of a mean hostility, opposition against you. So it's not aware. So the first storm is raised by his carelessness. And if you want to know if this is carelessness, his father rebuked him. His father rebuked him and said, Where are you going? You want to rule us? With my mother, with your mother and myself and your brothers. So they are even translating it for him, right? They are translating it. Turn this thing to me because it's hitting them very much. I want it to hit me, not them. You see, when you want to be a, a, a live preacher, you. You preach things, their, their reactions. And you, you see that the way they have So if the sun is too much on you, can you please come this way? Don't fear, you are in the house where you are God. This water is going to be a So, if you are in the house, you are in the house. 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 You are in He is carelessly speaking things that he should not care for. So I want to begin by cautioning you as a young man. Nataka kuanza kwa kuwa tahadharisha kama kijana mchanga. A young lady. Kama binti mchanga. Please don't talk too much. Tafadhali usizungumuze sana. Some things are too personal to share. Baadhi ya vitu ni kibinafsi kabisa usilinde hata kuzishiriki. There are some things that when you keep sharing you raise hostility around you. Kuna baadhi ya vitu ambavyo ukishinda umeshiriki na inua ukatini karibu na wewe hapo. Look at that hostility. Natazama ukatini huu ulinu. How can in the house? Nafanyika tu pale kwenye nyumba. Because the way is he began to speak to his father and to his mother and the father translated the papers in his translation he said that the son is the father and the moon is the mother because of the strength of, of, of life he said the sun is the father and then the moon is the mother and the stars are the sun the brothers and then he said will, will I, your mother and your brothers one day come and do what? and bow and they rebuked him because of that so the first hostility and the tongue that he went to as a young man is that, is that that which comes because of the carelessness of the youth? They share too much and talk too much. So I begin there, I want to begin there to caution you. As you are living in your salvation, learn to speak less. Don't say everything about you. Learn to share some things only with God. And you will live a peaceful life. Because of time, beloved people, let me begin sailing into the deeper part of it. Storm number two. Because time is not on our side. Storm number one is saying the hatred. Because look at Genesis chapter 37 verse 12. Look at what happened. Genesis chapter 37 verse 12. Someone with mics around, because I have no time to open the Bible. Because of this people, someone, the pastors are here, overseas around, everybody's around. I have, I have a, 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 a mobile microphone to go around. They will help me opening the scriptures. Uh, uh, very much. Thank you. Thank you. The book of Genesis, chapter seven, verse twelve. Let's see. Let's see what happened. Just see and read. Open it. Put it on. Say something. Ay, ay, ay. 
the technical is always like that. Can you give me another mic, Mandela? We are going to go on the sun. We are going to So, we are going to go on the sun. We are Please do it. Genesis chapter 37, verse 12, the Bible says, eh. Now his brothers have gone to Greece, and your father's flock near the church. And Israel said to Joseph, As you know, your brothers are grazing the flock near the church. Come, I am going to send you to them. Very well, he replied. So he said to him, Go and see if all is well with your brothers and with the flock, and bring word back to me. Then he sent him off from the valley of Hebron. When Joseph arrived at the chem, a man found him wandering around in the fields and, and asked him, What are you looking for? He replied, I'm looking for my brothers. Can you tell me where they are grazing their flocks? They, they have moved from, on from here. The man answered, I heard them say, Let's go to Dothan. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them near Dothan. But they saw him in, the, in a distance, and before he reached them, they plotted to kill him. Number one, he's saying, as he was moving and coming to the brothers, the, the brothers, the youth church, the brothers, he's saying, they immediately had a plot against him. Papo hapo tu walianza kupanga mipango kwa jiji yake. Assassination. Wanajaribu wanapanga kumuua. They wanted to destroy his life in moving. Wanataka kuharibu maisha yake kumuondoa kabisa. And you got why they want to move him? Can you continue? Sasa bali kwa nini wanataka kumuua? He said, they said, he comes that dreamer. Here comes. Here comes that dreamer. Here comes the dreamer. They say, they say to each other. Let us kill him. Come now, let us, let us kill him uh -huh. and throw him into one of these distance uh -huh. and say that a MC. and say that a ferocious animal devoured him. Uh -huh. Then we will see what comes of his dream. Now, when you see the hostility, the hostility is around what? Nobody's talking. Here comes the dreamer. His father rebuked him for the dream. His brothers asked, Will you really rule us? Will you actually be our ruler? And the father said, what is of this dream of yours? Will your mother and I bow down to you? And your brother? And he rebuked you. Then he said, They are saying, Here comes the dreamer. Let us kill him and say, A ferocious animal attacked him. Let us see what happens of his dream. So you begin to see that there was hostility was around his dream. That's what I'm saying. As you are growing in this life, as a youth church, a young person, you have a lot of life ahead of you. A bright life. A lot of hope. And peace. You are seeing it. In terms of dreams. Speak less. Pray more. Speak less and pray more about your life. There is better that way because it will not raise hostility around you. They plan to kill him and they sold him. The book of John, 1 John chapter 3, verse 15. Somebody was to read for me because of time. The book of first John, please. Time is not on me. I don't know where you need to help me. I mean, yes. Mukipata una pea ni. First John chapter three verse fifteen. Do it, please. The Bible says. It says. 
Anyone who hates his brother is a murderer. Is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life in him. It is amazing that there was hatred that was going on in that church. Very serious one. They hated each other. And then you hear him say, You hear them say, Here come the dreamer. So the dreamer raised hatred amongst them. They hated him so much with intent to the level that they were willing to kill him and throw him away. But then 1 John 3.15 says that when he came to the world he hated his brother. He's a murderer. So that church murdered him before he died. They had already assassinated him in their hearts. So belong to people. So I want to stop there by telling you in that first, first section by telling you be careful of what is growing amongst you as you are growing. Number one, we have said that learn to be the person that always brings good report. That will give you favor before the Lord. Number two, let good report be spoken about you as a youth child. Because he said, when Joseph brought report to Teko about the brothers, it was always about report. So always fight that it might be said well about you. The third thing we've learned Do not speak too much about yourself It will raise or seal your chemistry You should not be beneficial And the last we have just run now They hated him so much They hated him so much That they killed him in their hearts Hostility that came up from there I want to move on because of time the book of Genesis chapter 39 verse 1 Storm number 2 Slavery Genesis chapter 39 verse 1 now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt. He's been taken down to Egypt. Potiphar, an Egyptian who was one of the Pharaoh's officials. Can we see how it happened? How did they take him to Egypt? They sold him, right? Yeah. They took him and they threw it inside the, the system. And then they want to kill him. And then later, uh, 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 they said that instead of killing him, let us sell him, right? And then when they sold him, someone was not aware. His name is who? Judah. It is Reuben. Who wanted to save him is who? Judah intervened and said, let us not kill him. Why if we kill him, what will we benefit? The benefit is, after all, he's our brother, right? Very well. Now, read uh, uh, Genesis 39 verse 1. He says, Now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt. Uh -huh. Potiphar, an Egyptian who was one of the Pharaoh's officials, the captain of the guard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Now, Joseph had been taken down to Egypt. Potiphar, an Egyptian who was one of the Pharaoh's officials, the captain of the guard bought him from the East, bought him from the Islamal, Ismailites who had taken him there. The Ismailites. The Lord was with Joseph and he prospered and he lived in the house of his Egyptian master. Verse 3. When his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord gave him some success in everything he did, Joseph found favor in, the, in his eyes and became his attendant. Potiphar put him in charge of his household and he entrusted to his care everything he owned. From the time he put him in charge of his household and of all he had owned, the Lord blessed the household of the, of the Egypt because of Joseph. The blessings of the Lord was on everything Potiphar had, both in the house and in the field. So he left in Joseph's care everything he had. With Joseph in charge, he did not concern himself with anything except 
the food he ate. Thank you very much. You have reduced my. But now listen. He is saying the storm number one went as it went, then they sold him, then pop, he's in Egypt, right? He's in Egypt. The hand of Potiphar. Is the hand of in the hand of Potiphar. Potiphar. Taken away. Serving his, his, his jail term down there. I mean not jail term but slavery down there. In the house of Potiphar. At 17 years. He is in Egypt. Away from his God. Away from his parents. Away from the Lord. Away from the church. At 17 years. And he saying. The first report to be written about him. And saying. And the Lord was with him. At that young age. And the Lord was with him. And so that is the first place we want to begin to love the people. The second storm. Slavery. And he's saying. And the Lord was with him. In the midst of the slavery. He is working very far. But there is something he is fighting for. To sustain the Lord in his life. In his youthful life. He never wanted any time to lose the Lord. So he worked very hard to sustain the Lord in his Christian life. In his youthful life. And the Lord was with him. Beloved people. In Potiphar's house. Number two. He served this master all heartedly. Now that's a very important place to be. You are young and you have ambition. And you have the future. You are planning a lot of things ahead of you. Sometimes you will be so surprised that you will find yourself working with the people you don't want to work to. Work for. That's what Joseph found himself into. I told you there was a need of a wise man before the storm strikes. So Joseph, loved by the father, was not aware that at one point he will be alone in the wilderness in the hand of foreigners serving as a slave but wisdom that was still early in him helped him but look at this now the fear of the Lord which was in him first of all helped him to serve his Egyptian master allegedly so that's why I want to begin by talking to you beloved people you are young and you have a future ahead of you never choose who to work for never make that mistake never choose who to work for you don't choose it on who you want to work for because he's saying he is all Heartedly serving the Egyptian. And yes, he is a Hebrew. Separated from the refinement. But all heartedly serving the Egyptian. With love and all hearted. With the fear of God. You are young. But what will bring stumbling block before you is the lack of fear of God in your workplaces. When they are looking for people to employ, sometimes they call. You hear them say, I don't want to employ anybody from the church. And you ask, Why are you saying that? Because how what you are when they go to work there, they bring Mambo Yakanisa Huko. 
is saying Wanasema, Joseph is serving an Egyptian master Yusuf anamtumikia bwana wa Kimisri but he is serving in the fear of the Lord lakini anamtumikia katika hofu ya Mungu the youth church kanisa la vijana you have ambitions ahead of you unazo maoni mbele yenu and good plans na mipango mema but one thing that will interfere with those things lakini kitu tu ambacho kitazuia vitu hivyo is you to go to your one place ni wakati ukienda mahali pako pa kazi you must the fear of God bila hofu ya Mungu you will not prosper hauwezi fanikiwa Let it follow you. Wacha ikufuate. And I'm saying, Umesema, do not choose who to work for. Usitagwe ni nani unataka kumfanyia kazi. And I can dare say, na ninaweza sema, do not choose what to do. Usitagwe ni nini cha kufanya. One of you called me. Mmoja wenu alinipigia simu. Looking for something to do. Akitafuta kitu cha kufanya. And then I ask, kisha nikauliza, what type of job can you do? Ni aina gani ya kazi unaweza fanya? And that person said Huyo mtu akaniambia Kazi yoyote ambayo iko na adabu Kazi yoyote ambayo iko na adabu Can you say that way? Sasa inakuwa gani hiyo? Sasa nikauliza kazi iko na adabu ni gani? Kazi iko na adabu ni gani? Akaniambia Stacky is kazi za sina adabu So say which one? Then I began telling that person my life. I said, "Hey, are you aware that your pastor was once pulling a mkokoteni in Nairobi?" Nikaza kumwambia maisha yangu nikwambia je, wajua kama mchungaji wako siku moja alikuwa anasukuma mkokoteni in Nairobi? Are you aware I used to pull mkokoteni in Nairobi? Je, unajua kama alikuwa anasukuma mkokoteni in Nairobi? And cook mandazi. And kipika mandazi. And sell water mkokoteni pulling like this. And kiuza maji kwa mkokoteni kivuna. Are you aware at one point I had no way to sleep in Nairobi? Je, wajua kama siku moja sikuwa na wakati mahali pa kulala Nairobi? Then akaniambia. Then kisha akaniambia. That is not my portion. Hiyo sio sehemu yangu. Then I quickly understood the background. Kwa haraka kabisa nikaelewa mahali yanatoka. I realized. Nikagundua this one. Huyo. Sound very much intoxicated na wicked pastors of outside here. Inaonekana ni kama mejazo sumu kabisa na wachungaji wa nje hapa. They always they say no sweet portion. Kitanda is not my portion. Ugonjwa are not my portion. Sijui nini kingine. Kazi baya not my portion. Yet the Bible said do not despise the humble one. Humble beginning. Listen young man. Sikizeni vijana wachanga. Do everything that comes your way. Fanyeni chochote ambacho kinakupata. Joseph is heading into a glorious ending. Yusuf anaelekea katika ule mwisho wa utukufu. But he's beginning as a slave. Lakini anaanza kama mtumwa. But you do not want. Lakini wewe hautaki hiyo. You are seated in the house you are doing nothing. Umeketi kwenye nyumba hufanyi chochote. And you are waiting for the work that you applied for 1942. Kama unangojea ile kazi ambayo uniandikisha pale 1942. You apply for. Ambayo uniuniapply. And yes, we end up in Kisule in Nairobi za Kenya. Ukasoma mikosa ina hata maana. Tazama unangoja kosi yako. Si ufanye kitu pole pole ukikojea kosi yako. Wewe sijindwe. Eh? Joseph is heading somewhere. Yusuf anaelekea mahali. The brothers are showing. Ndugu zake wamemuuza. He is now serving Potiphar. Sasa anamtumikia Potiphar. As a slave. Kama mtumwa. And he is humbly and happily doing it. Kama mnyenyekevu na kwa furaha anaifanya. He is happily doing it. Kwa una furaha anaifanya. With the fear of God. Na hofu ya Mungu. He is praying. Anaomba. He is worshiping God. Anamwabudu Mungu. As a student. Akifanya. He is not complaining. Alalamiki. He is serving. Anatumika. As a not humble beginning. Katika huo lakini wewe hutaki hiyo. Hakuna la toshana hivi na pia tunataka kutumia fair. Kila la toshana hivi. Paka wanaenda paka ndevu. Bado naomba fair. Na kuna ndevu. Mulize kama kama mtu akuna ndevu kambi yako. Unanyoa baba yako pia ananyoa. Alafu naomba fair kwenda huko Eti ulisomea university kwani wewe ni university Wacha na papers kwa nyumba aenda tafuta kazi Sasa kama hivi nilikuwa hii mtano nilikuwa Sije baki mimi ndio kwa nyumba na basi ya kwanza Bwana Yesu asifiwe I am bringing you reality 
Just do it. God will find you the way. Look, 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 look. If Joseph's dream, katika ndoto ya Yusuf, you see a king. Una mwana mfalme. Sibio. If Joseph's dream, you see a king. Katika ndoto ya Yusuf, una mwana mfalme. If Joseph's dream, katika ndoto ya Yusuf, you see a king. Wewe una mfalme. Because his father is saying. Kwa sababu baba yake anasema, we will bow before you. Sisi tutakusujudia. Kwa miaka 17 So today I want to counsel you. Come out of your father and your mother's house and begin your life. Toka ije kutoka kwa nyumba ya baba yako na mama yako na uanze maisha yako. Wacha mchezo. Wewe una 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 message nini? Pikipiki. Sasa utarudi kujua tena. 
Let me come this way. Who is it here when you are and I find a girl in the house over here? Who people go in? Come Joseph. Where are you find a girl in the cake? Who is over here? Who is over here? Business information. I love the technology. I love such a big cake. And I will not do it all heartedly. Do you love that cooking of cakes? It has become your passion now. You love it so much, right? Most of the cakes you eat here, you like, you do. And wow, bad one, I'm going to go back to Gazi and I'm somewhere. Kill a sick of a shit for science, Zilla is a town, and I'm going to apply here. Bundles, and I'm going to need my Wi Fi is free. Everywhere. And I'm going to cut the and I'll find you. And I'm going to get a tenner. Where are you going? Huh? Cashier. Cashier in the cash cashier. In a supermarket. Now, where will you find you? Procurement. You have not procured anything. When you have no procurement, you have procured nothing. Plus, but do you not love it? Serve. It begins there. Me, we can't afford to go to any. My wife is here. She can tell me. We can't afford to go to any like this. We go to any in a month. Yeah. I need to go to Ipeta. Sana. Nani na fanya ili old sana ili old. Old. Where ni nani? Cleaner. Cleaner. What? Down. Uli somia ni. And so me, I did say it, and I celebrate them because when we kushinda we we kau na ngoja fair baba ya, when we kushinda balsa, ana we zamu ba ndoli yake na simia ke keri bika na tegeneza, na mukuta ni kitoke ana enda, na ana ata nukijenga ana we zamu nua kip, we we na kau na ngoja le kazi ni so me, enda ni aku ngoja, na 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 kupe uju Joseph na e ana osha biombo. Jose kwa naosha viombo na kumbe ya takuwa mfame lakini ya meanzea kuosha viombo na naosha kiipa njibu za kipiania wewe umekataa kuosha kwa sababu wewe ni asha kanisani siju wewe ni nani na uyuwa duwe niku hee hame uja kandu kwa pinyo hili who was reading? Myself. Eh. Was as 11. Eh. One day he went into the house to attend to his duties, and none of the household servants was inside. Thank you very much. Stop there because I, I want to talk about that because you, you became very careless, but don't worry about that. Let me go step by step. See you. Look at this now. Give me the book of Acts 9, verse 7, 7 verse 9. 9. And someone to open the book of Matthew 24, 45 to 51. In Matthew 25, um, um, 21, 23. Up chapter 7. Up 7, verse 9. Verse 9. Eh. Bible says, Because the patriarchs were jealous of Joseph, eh. he sold him as a slave into eh. Egypt. But God was with him and rescued him from all his troubles. Because the patriarchs had jealousy with Joseph, they took him and sold him for denarii. And then, inside the slave, the slavery house, the Lord was with him there still. Kwa sababu waze wale walimonia wibu Yusufu wakamuza pande katika utumwa uko misri lakini pande pia akiwa misri katika utumwa mungu walikuwa pamoja na ye. Now I know. Na sasa najua. It is not what you do. Sio kile ambacho unafanya. It is what you do when you have gone. Ni kile ambacho unafanya ukiwa na mungu. Now I know. Sasa najua. You might be doing a very good course minus God. Uleza kwa unafanya course huzuri kabisa pasipo na mungu. You do a very wonderful job minus God. Unafanya kazi ya ajamu kabisa ya kupendaza pila mungu. And you are struggling there sana. Na unangangana pale sana. You have also been corrupt inside there. Because in that job there is no God. And he's saying, as he was washing dishes, he had God there. It is not what you do. It is what you do when you have God. But the Lord was a few. They were jealous. They sold him. But thank God, he followed him as a shepherd. God was with him. 
as a shepherd boy. Kama mfanyikazi tu kule shambani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Then he so. Kisha nasema hivyo. The book of Matthew 24 verse 35 to 51. Matayo 28:45 hadi 50. The Bible says, hey. Who then is a faithful and a wise servant? Uh-huh. Whom the master has put in charge of the servants in his household to keep them food their to keep them their food at the proper time. So meaning Joseph is a wise servant because he has been put by the master in charge of other servants. Kumaanisha Yusuf ni mtumishi mwenye hekima kwa sababu amekwishaweka kutumikia watumishi wenzake usiwe family. Anatumainiwa kabisa kuendesha familia. At 17 years. At 23 years. Miaka 23. He was still sleeping under the roof of your father. Baada umelala chini ya ile paa ya nyumba ya baba yako. Okay, Hallelujah. look at that word he say, who then is a wise servant who the master has put in charge. Anasema ni nani basi aliye mtumishi mwaminifu mwenye busara ambaye Bwana wake ameweka kusimamia watumishi wengine. Anasema he is in charge. Anawasimamia of other servants. Watumishi wenzake. It is very beautiful sometimes. Yapendeza kabisa wakati mwingine. Even to be a supervisor in a kibanda. Na kusimamia tu wale watu wa vibanda. He is put in charge of other servants. Ameweka wasimamia watumishi wenzake. And he earns nothing. Na apati chochote. And he loves it that way. Na anaipenda hivyo. He is so mtumishi wenye hekima at 17 years kwa miaka yake 17 he is running potiphar's house tayari anaiendesha nyumba ya potiphar at 17 years kwa miaka 17 and potiphar trust with everything na potiphar alimtumaini na kumwachia vitu vyote yet after that years ile hali kwa miaka hii 30 he cannot be tell any department in church huwezi pewa hata kitabu chochote kanisani he cannot nothing at that years huwezi endeleza chochote kwa miaka yako 30 but joseph is 17 He found Joseph doing what he was told. That is why he was given in charge of all other things. Yo mana aliweka asimamie kila kitu kingine. Watu wapendwa. This message is important to you. Ujumbe huu ni muhimu kabisa kwako. Because part two, this is storm number two is addressing not only salvation is addressing real life. Kwa sababu dharura hii ya pili haielezei tu wakovu inaelezea pia maisha ya kweli kabisa. Maisha ya kweli. I left home at 16 years. Niliondoka nyumbani miaka hii nikiwa miaka 16. I left home at 16 years. Niliondoka nyumbani kwa miaka 16. When it was not hard for me to continue. Wakati sasa ilikuwa ngumu kwangu kuendelea. I left home at 16 years. Nilitoka nyumbani nikiwa miaka 16. And then my ID. Kisha kitabulisha utangu. Nikakuma mbele at 16 I was 18. Nikaisukuma mbele. Mimi kumaanisha the actual age is 16. Miaka yangu ya kweli ni 16. But kwa ID I'm 18. Lakini katika kitabulisho mimi nina miaka 18. Because I have to work. Kwa sababu lazima nifanye kazi. My first employment I was getting 105 shillings per day. Ujira wangu wa kwanza nilikuwa napata shilingi 105 kwa siku. Which at the end of 30 days 3050. 
Hii ambayo hatimaye mwisho wa siku 30 ni 1350. And I used to stay in my first house 700 shillings. Na nilikuwa naketi kwa nyumba yangu kodi ya kwanza ilikuwa shilingi 100. And I love it very much. Na nilipenda sana. Ndika. Na pale pika. So I called Greystone. Mali pale inaitwa Greystone. I stayed there. Nilikuwa naishi pale. The first the first in the first bed I bought. Ile kitanda ya kwanza ambayo nilinunua. I wrote all names on it. Niliandika majina yote kwayo. I wrote the first bed ikandikwa nini majina yangu pale paka signature paka everything my first bed where you want nothing a party I'm telling you I own kitanda at 16 No kitanda is big Do you know the beauty of owning your own bed And I went to the kitanda yako like this and I said Lord you are jina yake hata ukiangalia my my sons my daughters walikuwa wanalalia tu kama wanaribu lakini kulikuwa majina mengi hapo na signatures na mimi kila kitu alafu ni kuna stool moja pale ilikuwa stool bibi na meza ilichomwa na fake but kwa meza ni meza like this hapo ilikuwa hapo like that so the only thing i had one plate one plate one sufuria one dip and then i had my friend called william otieno the brother to my wife tulikuwa na kaka naye opposite door That's how I got my wife. Si mbigini wa kofu mimi. Sasa hiyo ni kulikuwa. Kulikuwa na kana yeye, mimi na kapa ndio hii. I am by stick in this this stuff this side. He had a cut in the same plot. And then we are going to same work in the same place. And then and then a sister he sister came to visit him. And he still visits us. us. <laughs> She still visits so we continue we prolong the visit. We just prolong the visit and took some cows there to prolong the visit. But what happened what I wanted to say is Because I had one plate and William had another plate. Kwa sababu nilikuwa na sahani moja tu na William alikuwa na sahani nyingine. And William also had another Shahani sufuria na hiyo moja. Na William pia alikuwa na sufuria moja na mimi nilikuwa na moja. So alikuwa anapika ugali mimi napika mboga. Kwa hivyo angepika ugali na mimi napika mboga. Because it is one plan one sufuria both sides. Kwa sababu ni sufuria moja upande zote. And then it, the day I yuko. Si kwamba yo hayuko. Naanza kwanza na mboga. Then nachukua maji na mboga ndani fanya fanya hivi na mboga like this naweka ugali. Then ugali utoi sasa unakula ndani. But I'm happy because it is mine. Lakini nafurahia kwa sababu ni yangu. Wewe unakula kwa sahani baba yako mpaka lini? Takanta school ku kole ya mama yenu mpaka siku gani? Uliza jirani waacha mchezo wewe. Shabetini ya siangoi. Miaka 17 kichana kijana mchanga. In Kenya. Akiwa hapa Kenya. He doesn't have an ID. Hana bado kitambulisho. In Kenya. Kenya. He is not fit for the poll employment. Bado hana uwezo wa kupata ajira. Akiwa in Kenya is about to from four kapa kenya aliyopata kwa katika kidato cha 4 hapa kenya is it wrong for yuko katika kidato cha 4 but he's already running the house of the army commander lakini tayari anaendelesha nyumba ya yule amri jeshi it is reliable na anategemewa he said anasema it will be good yes it will be good it will be good for that servant who's master finds him doing so when he returns <laughs> I tell you. You will put him in charge of all his possession. But suppose that servant is wicked and says to himself, my master is staying away a long time. Meaning there is still time. There is still what? There is still time. But no kuna wakati. My master is staying away still long. There is time. I want to Cause you people live where you are staying and go tafuta kijana mwanzako anza kuishi naye. Nairobi usipofukuzwa kwa nyumba au jengea Nairobi. Nairobi lazima mtu akatake kuongelesha kwa nyumba yake. That's when akili inafunguka. Unaingia kwa nyumba unapata walikula kabla uingie. Alafu ukifika unapata sahani zote ni sawa hicho kila kitu ni mpya. Alamu wana kuangalia hata wao wanashangaa. That's Nairobi. That's when you know hapo ndipo tajua. Nairobi, Nairobi ndio mali nzuri ya kutrain watu kufanya kazi. Unaambiwa tu toka, unaona tu kile mambo inaenda. 
At this age, you cannot be sleeping with someone sitting room. At this age. Someone it will not so much. At this age. No. Come on, who can for that? It will not be able to do it. It will not be able to do it. Find something. Don't sit there. And I told me about that cartoon. Sit down. 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 And you come back from Lambo Pala, Lapa Nasema, and work as it and a summer like this and go funny. I love on a summer kid, I love on my dick at Chiniaco. Don't just sit there, do something. So tell your neighbor that way. So can someone give me the book of Matthew 25, 21, 23? 25, 21, 23. Matthew 25, 21, 23. His master replied. His master replied. Well done, good and faithful servant. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with few things. You began small. I will put you in charge of many things. And now raise you. Come and share your master's happiness. Come and join with your master also. Because you began somewhere. You began somewhere. And you have been growing slowly by slowly. Well done, good and faithful servant. You began small. And you did not give up. Now you have grown bigger. Sasa umekuwa mkubwa. Come and enjoy the master's glory. Joe ushiriki katika furaha ya Bwana wako. You cannot enjoy the master's glory. Uwezi shiriki katika furaha ya Bwana wako. If you have no ability to sustain small beginning. Kama huna uwezo wa kushikilia ule mwanzo mdogo. Hallelujah. What hallelujah. What did you bring cakes? Endelea kupika zile cakes. You don't know what will take place. One day you may get an order that might surprise you. Just go to you bring cakes. Kabisa pale unafanya cake like this one kitu cake pale siku moja imeshtukia wapata kwa wengine kali sana na you just imagine now at what attack war so these are all cakes continue doing it continue doing it he's saying welcome you are you have been so Faithful with small things, you did not care. You are beginning somewhere. You did not fear to begin small. I hear you writing, right? You are doing writings. What do you write? You write those university things online, sitting on computer the entire night and writing things until your eyes turn red. Huh? Is that what you study? With someone in, you are a teacher. So we go on a bigger. You need to side hustle. Because you have a rent to pay. And landlord doesn't know you are a young girl, right? Will you tell the young landlord, your landlord? Sometimes it's a man to deliver next month, but for. You, he needs money. You must write. Okay. He feared to sin against God at that young age. He remained faithful, thoughtful, and wise. Let me go to that third th 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 stone because of time, beloved people. Now, in that second stone, now you have understood the importance of working, right? Before I leave there, have you seen what you should do there? In that place, we are learning. Do something, right? Do something. Don't just sit there. That is a beautiful place to tell you you cannot sit and say you are too young to work. Begin work, right? And whatever you do, do with happiness and the joy of the Lord. The Lord will come. If you are a household, don't be ashamed of it. You have a colleague called Joseph. Don't be ashamed. He served happily. Alitumika kwa furaha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He served happily. Alitumika kwa furaha. You can go to Mikopa and get some bongas and kata. Unezenda kigongi kopa pale ununue mboga na ukate kate. You can do anything. Unezafanya chochote. You can begin a business of selling fruits. Unezaanza piyashara ya kuuza matunda. 
I hear them saying. The greetings of a, of, a, of, a, of a poor man is mistaken to be to be beggar begging. Yeah, you 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 are just calling to to greet. As you see, we are I don't know what I'm talking Do something. Find a key to. The worst thing is that you need to employ to learn to work. Joseph did not arrive. Aku arrive. Like in the corner of Anya, Muda ya Okoka. Aku arrive. Let us go to store number three. We have to go to store. Hey, what's that you need to do? Buy a chair to go to store number three. The store of immorality. The store of immorality. I want to book that thirty-six from that nine from verse from verse six. The Latin Latin Psalms can be on Star Wars Sita. Luca. Not Luca. Genesis. Genesis thirty-six from verse six, please. One of the Latin Latin Psalms Star Wars Sita. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thirty-six of the nine. So 39 thank you uh, uh, 39 verse 6 the bible says the bible says so he left in joseph he left in joseph care everything he had he left in joseph care everything he had with joseph in charge uh-huh. he did not concern himself with anything except the food he ate uh-huh. now joseph was well built and handsome aha can someone have learned that thing he was what well built and handsome can you say the not handsome is handsome handsome <laughs> i know you want to add some more chumbi there can someone say well built and handsome hey you came you came that man next to you there you went kona kona we jam hey you came thank you for coming now to get your joseph papa we want to believe yesterday you told me you are a man working strongly I love the way he's doing this. He's doing delivery, right? Delivery in a motorcycle. And I've had a delivery, right? Not Uber, but there's other something. Paul, not Paul. Maybe uh, Jumia. Jumia. He's doing delivery. And I make it like this, and I find you do And he's doing things. He's working. He's earning. He's earning. And a pet a piece. Where about Uber? Read, please. Now Joseph was well built and handsome. He was well built and handsome. And after a while, his master's wife took notice of Joseph and said, "His master's wife took notice of Joseph and said, 'Come to bed with me. Come to bed with me.' But he refused. He said, 'With me in charge.' He told her, 'With me in charge. My master does not concern himself with anything in this house. Yes, everything he owns he has entrusted to my care.'" Wow, what a wonderful young man of 17 years is controlling the family. Uh-huh. No one is greater in this house than I am. He was so happy to be the highest employee because he is washing dishes. Alikuwa amefurahia kabisa kuwa yule aliyeajiriwa kiwango cha juu kabisa kwa sababu anaosha vyombo. He was so happy. Alikuwa na furaha kabisa. To be in charge of slaves. Kuweza kuwasimamia wale watumwa wenzake. Not to be in charge of some supervisors and doctors. Sio kusimama baadhi ya madaktari na baadhi ya watu wa taaluma za kiume. He is in charge of slaves. Anasimamia watumwa. They are also it is like being in jail and then you are you are the, you are you are the senior of those who are in jail. Kama kuwa gerezani kisha wewe ni mkuu wale wote walio gerezani. You are all arrested and you are all have no right. Yeye wote mekamatwa na nyonyote hamna haki. Look at the way he is happy. He is exalting God. He is so saying no I cannot do that. I have the one in charge of sufuria hapa. I'm happy. Tazama jinsi anafurahi. Anasema siwezi fanya hivyo. Mimi nasimamia na sufuria hapa. Amefurahi sana. And what you are doing in this nation, you are a teacher, you are what? And you are doing in complaining. You are kile, not happy. Na kile ambacho unafanya katika taifa hili, wewe ni mwalimu na wengine wanafanya kazi gani? Bado unalalamika haujafurahia. You doesn't do it on happen. Hauifanyi na moyo wako wote. And Joseph is happily doing it. Ili hali Yusufu kwa furaha kabisa anaifanya. Oh, read it now. My master has withheld nothing in this house except you. He has withheld nothing in this house except you. Because you are his wife. You are his wife. How then could I do such a wicked thing as How you can God? I do a such a wicked thing and sin and do what? And sin against God. And sin against God. He is exalting God in Egypt. Ana- you cannot exalt God in Australia here. And akwaza Mungu pale Misri. Wewe huwezi kuwaza Mungu hapa industrial area tu. Just industrial area Kenya. Hapa industrial area Kenya tu. You are already corrupting your ways. Tayari unaanza kufisadi njia zako. You are a house help. Wewe ni mjakazi katika nyumba. You cannot say no to your master who is a Uwezi sema la kwa yule bwana wako ambaye anakukeketa 
pale. And then the altar stood for. In hali Yusuf wali simama da biti. He said no. Akasema la. How can I do that? Zita wazali kufanya uwe vuka uwe. I'm saying against God. Nani tena da biti ni mungu wangu. He did not say I lose my job. Akusema nani poteze kazi yako. He said I'm saying against God. Nani shema nani tena da biti ni mungu. I love to say that young man is growing well, right? Hey, if that is your son, you can tell where the father loved him. You say no. Many young girls and young boys nowadays are willing to sleep with old women to get money. And old men, when they instruct, can you hear or whatever they will ask you? You hear them having some people called. I don't know any sponsor. I was so. This age will be I did not know sponsor in me. I did not know sponsor in me. You will be able to pay school fees. So later I had a sponsor to pay in the end of the school fees. And here in the evening they come with big black cars. And carry guns. And they all go to down here. The weekend is the call Dome. Down here. Anytime when I pass here through my room, I found cars parked. Young girls like this with old men. Wako pale. Wako pale. And then the worst estate is called uh, is called Zimama. Na ile estate baya kabisa ni to Zimama. Full of young girls. Imeja wasichana wachanga wachanga. University students. Wasichana watu wa kikongo. There is park there. Wame kuna park pale. There is KU here. Kuna KU hapa. There is something which one again? USIU USIU is around. They are young. They are doing it. They are not standing like Joseph. You say, I cannot sleep with you. How can I do it and sin against God? The young men of this age, if you give such kind of temptation to them, they just begin singing hallelujah and say, God has remembered me. They cannot withstand against any temptation. Joseph had no altar near him. Joseph did not go to Menengai 5 or 4. Joseph was not in worshiping. Joseph was alone in Egypt. And there was no altar. And there was an immoral woman in the house. And Joseph stood. We are looking for five young men in Gidurai. Who can stop? Against the moral women. 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 Who can stop? Against the moral Ano wewe sema no hata siku moja tu ile no ile no hapa yenye huko serious kwa kitu umesema no. Mbije nani sema no. Hallelujah. Storm number three. He was attractive and fine looking. Doroba ya tatu ni kwamba alikuwa anavutia katika macho na alikuwa na urembo. But he had the fear of God. Lakini alikuwa na hofu ya Mungu. Look at me here. It means it is not sin to be attractive. God created you to be attractive. So if you are attractive, that is not wrong. If you are fine looking, there is no problem. He said the young man was well built. That's okay. You are young people. You are expected to be well built. You are expected to be well built. You are expected to be well built. And attractive. But the most major I think you must have. In that attractiveness. And be well built. You must have the fear of God. The fear of Jehovah. If you don't have the fear of God. And yet you are a beautiful young girl. Your skin is light. You are not afraid of your skin. 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 You have applied oil in your thighs. 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 And you are walking now. You look at them on the screen. You look at yourself in Kiyo like this. You look at yourself in Kiyo like this. 
hiyo hiyo when you take your phone ukiangalia simu yako huna selfish unajaa selfie you love yourself unajipenda you are enjoying your body unafurahia unapenda umeumbwa vibaya you are enjoying your body unafurahia mwili wako but it's not okay hiyo ni sawa it is not sin sio dhambi but when you remove the fear of god from your beauty lakini ukiondoa hofu hofu ya mungu katika urembo wako you remove the fear of god from your beauty ukiondoa hofu ya mungu katika urembo wako you are as ugly as a hyena wewe ni sura mbaya kama hyena listen to me people sikizeni wapendwa with the fear of god na hofu ya mungu and your beauty na urembo wako is glorious sio utukufu He said Joseph was handsome. Anasema Yusuf alikuwa mtana shati. Vijana watana shati wako hapa. Mna tana shati. Karibu ule this vijana watana shati. Ama nyinyi sio watana shati? You don't trust yourself you don't know shati. Nyinyi ni watana shati. Kwani amujui? Ndio kuna wale ambao kwa sababu ya ya Etienne Mrembo sasa people cannot read people cannot now have peace in the church kwa sababu ya Mrembo. Sasa kama uko Mrembo kwani wewe ni Mrembo wa kwanza? Si Joseph alikuwa Mrembo huko na hakuwa na shida. Wewe kwa sababu wewe Mrembo sasa kanisa cannot have peace. You are focus too much on Mrembo yako. You just focus on it. You are keep on just focusing on it. Forget about it. You guys are Mrembo actually. Esther was beautiful but had the fear of who? Can you say no? Joseph was handsome and he had who? He had what? What is this about young girls? Nini hii? Nini hii inafanyika miongoni mwa wasichana wa chama? Kwa sababu mirua hai ni moja na hatuna amani. You are disturbing the entire church because you are only one high here. What did you buy to? Where will we go? You you went to saloon now hakuna hakuna money kwa church. Saloon is normal. Ilianza kitambo. Watu kwa sababu Biblia walikuwa nashuka. Hata kwa Biblia walikuwa nashukanga. Kwa hivyo wewe si wa kwanza. Disikutishe. Nyewe ni normal. Kama kila mtu akuzi yake hivi. Hiyo kitu ni normal. Wacha kusumbua watu nayo. Ndio kienda kwa kwa, kwa saloon na piga piga picha nyile like this. Pure kabisa. Angalia simu za wasichana vile vijana wamejiweli. Anakiona anapiga lakini hivi ai 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 yake. Acha ngalia bibi yako haki. Bibi yangu. I like the way it's growing. Kuna sio mchana na kana wako status I miss my air. Kama kuna mtu anambia kwa kama na yambia kwenda huko yule yako ni mbaya sana. Kitabu cha mithali 2 mstari wake ni wa kwanza. Mithali 2 mstari wa kwanza. My son, my son, if you accept my word, if you accept my duty to be your son, and so up my command, and you stop my command, within you, within you, turn your ear to wisdom, you turn your way to wisdom, and apply your heart to understanding, and you apply your heart to understanding, and if you call out for insight, if you call out for insight, and cry out for understanding, and you cry out for understanding, and if you look for it. Was as a silver. And you for a silver. And such for it. Uh -huh. As for hidden treasure. Uh -huh. Then you will understand. You will understand. The fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. And find the knowledge of God. And find the knowledge of God. My son. One uncle. Say my son. Say my son. 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 My Knowledge of God is better than the knowledge of men. Ufahamu wa Mungu ni bora kabisa kuhusu kuliko ufahamu wa wanadamu. They have gone to school. Umeomea shuleni. They have read books. Wamesoma vitabu. Big books they read. Vitabu vikubwa wamesoma. And when they were no class ahead of them. Hadi sasa kuku yako na darasa mbele yao. But when a school. Lakini pasipo Mungu. They are pathetic. Wao ni wabaya kabisa. Knowledge of God. Ufahamu wa Mungu. Makes you better. Inakufanya bora. Read for me. Read for me. Continue. Endelea kusoma. He said. Verse 6. Verse 6. He said. Verse 7. Hey. Lord's victory in store uh -huh. for the upright. Uh -huh. He is the shield to those who walk in blameless. He is the shield to those who walk in blameless. Keep on walking in blameless as a young man. God will protect you. Yeye ni ngao kwa wale wasio 
na lawama endelea kutembea pasipo na lawama Mungu hata kuhifadhi na kukulinda Shema haleluya I love to hit you hard because when I hit you hard we raise a stable church. Napenda kuogonga vikumo kabisa kwa sababu nikiogonga hivyo vikumo tunainua kanisa lile la pili. Read it for me. For he guards the course of the just uh-huh. and protect the way of his faithful ones. Continue. Was this nine? Yeah. Then you will understand what is right and just uh-huh. and fair every good part. Uh-huh. For wisdom will enter your heart uh-huh. and knowledge will be present to your soul. Yes. This passion will protect you yes. and understand understanding will guide you. Yes. Wisdom will save you from ways of wicked men. Uh-huh. From men whose words are perverse. Listen to me now young girls. Uskizeni wasichana wachanga. Soma hapo tena young for young girls. This question will protect you uh-huh. and understanding will guide you. Yes. Wisdom will save you from ways of wicked men. There are wicked men in this society. Kuna wanaume waovu kabisa katika jamii hii. They are grown up. Wamekoma, wamekua. They are money. Wana pesa. They can afford something. Wanaweza pata kununua kitu. They are children. Watoto wao are your agents. Wanatoshana na wewe. But because they have money. Lakini sababu wana pesa. They die shini. Wanakuvutia, wanakudanganya. They are wicked. Ni waovu. They have no minds. They are thinking not with their minds. They are wicked men. It's only wisdom that can save you from those wicked men. Amen. 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 For men whose words are perverse, who is a perverse? Who live the straight path to walk in the dark ways? They live the straight path and they walk the dark ways. Look at young girls. Look at these young men here. What was chana wachanga chaza many how vijana wachanga hapa? Even inside there, they are wicked men. Ata hapa ndani kuna wanaume waovu. They have left the they have left the straight path. Wameacha ile njia iliyo nyoka. Which is called by God. Aba yeye anajulikana na Mungu. They are following the crooked way. Wanafuata ile njia iliyo pinda. Which will help you? Hekima itakusaidia. When you get married? Unataka kupata kuwa na ndoa? Usisahau hekima itakusaidia kupata sio tu mwanamume lakini kumpata mume sababu kuna ile tofauti kubwa kati ya mwanamume na mume unahitaji hekima kumpata mume anasema usiwache hekima itakusaidia anasema binti yangu unaishi katika jamii of crooked men Don't be so 
productive in your things. Usikuwa kwa kuna kina jinsi kwa vitu vyao vyako. Na nimesema kila wakati. Be careful. Makinika. Don't laugh with everybody. Usicheke na kina moto. This young man wana nguvu na kucheka. Wasani mboga leo wili wanakwenda wiki. Ukicheka cheka na yeye tu like this cheka mara mbili mara tatu ashaanguka. Ukicheke tu mara mbili tu hivi like this mara kwanza mara mbili umemwe mwanga ya pili ukamwangalia macho na hizo alafu ukacheka kidogo hivi alafu ukaongeza kucheka kidogo hivi huu mtu ashaanguka. Pasa nyama wa nyama wa ndoa. Is this a good thing or bad? Very bad. Niendelee kwa uh-huh. <laughs> That guy was off. <laughs> Hallelujah. Salimu yenu kwa sababu ya jambo wa ndoa. Hallelujah. Muzalimeni kwa hewa. Na mimi tunakupenda, tunataka kuolewa lakini vile tungejua tunataka kuoa tunakuja kwako lakini kama tuko tunakuja kwako. The seductiveness of women. Ushawishi wa wana wake. Is also blessing it there. Pia anaizungumzia pale. The seductiveness of women. Una ushawishi wa wanawake. And he's saying. Anasema. If you are in charge. Ikiwa upo kanisani. Are you being seductive? Sio zijuzuia kabisa usipate kuwa mtu. It helps nobody. Aisaidie yote. It helps to bring us to worship God. Msaidie yote kuja tu mwabudu Mungu. Who is seductive? Wachana tu na kwanza kuona ushawishi. Ushawishi kwa ni seductive. Ushawishi. Seductive. Seducing people. Utongozi utongoza jaji lakini. Can you read again? Who has left the partner of her youth? He, she has left the partner of her youth. Of her youth. Oh, that was the sugar mommy, right? Yes. That's the sugar mommy, is it? Because she has left her partner. Kwa sababu amemwacha mwenzi. You are the young young man in the office there. You have entered the office. Umeingia hapo kwa ofisi pale umeajiriwa as a clerk. I don't know who are you? Maybe you are clerk or maybe first officer. Whatever it is, umeajiriwa pale. Wewe ni mko kwa uko na shati ya white na tie. Na unakujenga na shoe chini pale na gari zako ni safi na uko na perfume moja unapigaga kali hapo. Unaingia na kuangalia hivi unasema haki huyu nikipata. Wewe tuunge wewe. Tuna sana amewacha mwingine kwa nyumba ama kukamani ofisini. Tunga. Ndio vile ndio watu wanakonga sha. Ama hakuna shati moja na pasanga pasi na piga msuri. Anekiosha na jik. Alafu anaweka blue. Ndio blue. Kuna blue kiongezanga juu ya nini na shati na kwa blueish ndio kitabu tukio wa vijana sisi kwa barubaru ulikuwa unachukua karatasi ya sunbless alafu naweka chini like this alafu naweka nguo juu alafu napiga basi alafu natoka hapa sunbless sunbless naitwa nini ujana sadaka ni mimi mimi ndio and ignore the covenant she made before the Lord. She ignored the covenant of the wedding that she did before the Lord. She is now looking for the young men who are not suspecting, non suspecting young men who have just been employed. You are being told, do this, you will be elevated. Where we? Read it. Well, her house leads down to death. Her house is highway to hell. And her path to the spirit of the dead. None who go to none who go to her. Returns or attend the parts of life. Where, where? Two things. None who goes to return or attain the parts of life. Meaning, you can return, but you will never come back the path of life. Hakuna yoyote enda kwa kia karudi ama kufikia mapito ya uzima. Kumanisha unaeza enda urudi lakini hauta urudi katika ile mapito ya uzima. Let me give my father. Wacha niazia kutoka mbali. HIV and AIDS is powerful. Virusi vya ukimi ni vya nguvu. It has put Discipline now. Sasa but don't you know? Lakini je hamjui. But when someone is HIV and AIDS positive. Kwa maana mtu akiwa na virusi vya ukimwi. And they are using ARVs. Na wanatumia ARVs. They will look healthier than you. Wataonekana wakiwa na afya bora hata kukulika. They are more healthier. Wana afya bora kukulika. Than you. Kukuliko. And there are those who we are born with it. Kuna wale waliozaliwa nayo. Na kwa hiyo careless. Na wewe pia haujali tu. Number two. He said. Anasema. The office problems. Zile shida afisini. 
She has left her partner. She is weakened now. She knows how to drop young men. Young. She has destroyed many marriages. We must adapt to this. A seduction. Her path leads to death. And if you take that route, you never return. The people repent. You return by in a slice. Being affected or infected. Be careful. We are in which verse? Because how do you go out to verse 22? Yes, verse 20 now. Yes. Thus, you will walk in the ways of good men mm. and keep to the paths of the righteous, yes. for the upright will live in the land and the blameless will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the land and the unfaithful will be torn from it. Hallelujah. We had reached the storm number Gapi, the storm Gani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1. Kitabu Chamitani, Tatu Mstaniyoke, you are Kwanza. My son, my son, do not forget my teaching. Do not forget this Sunday. What I'm teaching you. Don't forget it. My son, don't forget it. And my son, you have been my son and daughter. Begin again. My son, my son, do not forget my teaching. Do not forget. This command I'm giving today. For they will prolong your life. This things are the only thing that will make you an old man. Many years and bring you prosperity. It will give you many years and prosperity. If you want to prosper in what you do at work, you need to pick to, to, to store the commands of God with you. If you want to take a cup of kitchen and join your family casino, let's say we find the Amri Zamu Daniyako. The Bible is a Bible. The Bible is a Bible. The Bible is a Bible. So if you want to live long, just give the command. You want to reach our age here? No, you just give the commands of God. They are dying now and it's yesterday, Tuesday on Friday as I was living here, heading home. I found a young man. Picking like a dog. The Lord's are going to the, 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 the might have come with stones. And they are hitting him. And he's falling down. And trying to rise again. And they are hitting him. And he's trying to rise again. If you look at him, Menos chapter Muka Chibi, Mukona is up with you in a Jewe. So Mukona and Vuya Jewe attack with someone like this. He's trying. He's trying to rise again. And then they were hitting him until now he could not rise again. I found one again. Tight like this with the tiles. He has been beaten senselessly. And then he's in tile. And then they are telling him, What do you want to sell us? He said, Give me a phone. And then they gave him a phone. And he dialed her, his, uh, his mother's phone number. And he called the mother. He said, Mommy, I am sorry I have ashamed you. I have ashamed you. I am dying today. If you want to live long, outside this world here, what you want a woman, what you want a woman, what you want a woman, you will be slaughtered like a dog. If you lack God in your doing, do the Kutana Pijama, we can avoid the Dugan of Jesus because you have no God. Because you have no I read the scripture. He is the only commander of Israel. His name is Abner, son of Ner. The only commander of Israel. Under the leadership of the late Saul. He is meeting in the army commander. And the commander. Of Israel. His name is Job, son of Zeruya. Job, Job, Job. 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 Job, 
Abner goes to David. Abner and Abner Dawdi. And Job was not around. Now Job was here. When Job came back, when the Job was here, he was told. And he be what? Abner was here. Abner and he was here. And the king did not touch him. Now for me, how come God? When Job called him back, this is your kisha. Job was coming with him. He said, "Come back." I come with you. There is something you must say. Kuna kicho tu jaso baba. The king wants you. We find men who are here. We are right back again. We are not fit to find your language. He met Job. And he could tell that Job was. And he had trust. He had trust in Job. Now he come and work here. Lakini wewe unajulikana kama mlevi. 
When I got my first job, Tika Textile Industries. It is called TCM. When I got my first job, that boss told me, I don't know you, but you look like a good man. So what you want to do? I am heading to leave for leave. And when I go, they normally sack those that are employed. So I want to put in a very good docket. Where they will not manage to sack you. It is called good name. And then I was put there. But then I walked there and gained an experience. And after gaining experience, my first job was in Kenya Cuttings. Kenya Cuttings, Kenya Cuttings that is Maua, flower farm. Kule Fika. I was young and rowdy and senseless and, 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 and weak and, and, and has no fear of God. Had no fear of God. So I led a strike. I led a strike of about 5,000 people. As young as I was. So I led a strike and then we burned down things. And we were beating our bosses. We were looking for salary increment. And we give the buses. Guess what? The buses were given. Salary was increased. And I was sacked. So those who are enjoying that things with me. I remember. I remember. How I escaped that by a whisker like this that day. Because the war intensified. They one week. Then they put GSU officers. They called. They are called. Guza Serikali Uwame. GS what? GSU. They were put to, put to, to, to stop it. But I'm a young man without sense. Because I can I'm a young man reckless and careless. I'm no man of God. So I am living a heavy strike. I have the ringleader. And many people are paying me. And now we are doing big things. Haki yetu. Haki yetu. It was big. In era. 2002. As that was going on like that. We fought for one week. Then we put GSU. Then we began fighting with them. We clothed them with a certain corner. Na kuwa na chupa mbaya zime pasuka. Na kuwa chupa na chupa mbaya zime pasuka. Kamikongo. Inakoma kamikongo like this. A GS officer. You know what you have done. You know you have done nuki. And then, Kisha. the entire factory, all people are called and they say, no, this is a very simple thing. If you want to cool this thing, look for money. Let's look for Martin. We cool this thing. If you get it and arrest him, that thing is gone. And just looking for me, they were beating women with those this papatops. They were beating them and breaking them, looking for me to tell them where I am. Haidi ni kahawa, a coffee plantation. Ni kafikisha kwenye kahawa. Then look. Wanatafuta. Then. In the evening like this. Jioni hivi. I knew the company. 
Because everything has cooled down. When I looked like this and entered, I found around 15, like 50 GSU officers seated on the right. And I am passing Bele Yao. And nothing is bad. But I was doing a head like this. But nobody is coming to attack me. So I thought it was gone. Then I saw one person, one GSU officer coming towards me. This side is a baton. You are a kid. And this side is a gun. So what happened? He was coming looking, sitting at my, my knees. So I knew this is life and death. When he arrived where I was, he took this baton and placed this side. And then grabbed me. And I said, that's it now. God has me. Because it was like this. Step, no, first step was left. Step one. Step two. And then he said, I'm not going anymore. So when he turned like this, he bent with the left arm. He went down. He went down. And I went like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. And I went like this. And then the entire those people rose up with their guns. And he was a shoot. 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 Resasi, senselessness of vijana. Kutojani kabisa na kutokuwa na akili timamu ya vijana. You will die young. Utakufa tu tuki mchanga. Peki tuki kek. Kindly ambia a lady called Yvonne Olocho from KTTC. That KTTC team is leaving. We are at the stage. Even on Ocho, where are you? Be well. To make a release. And because of that, let us rise up. Lift up your hands, beloved people. It will be very high. Lift your hands very high. Say, Mwana Yesu Mku. Siku ya leo. Mena kuru na mbiza kuzote. Na mbiza ujana. Mena oba unisamehe. Na unisaidue kama kitana. Kwanzia leo. Mena prepea kwa utakatifu. Na uka unye nyekevu. Nime penda mengi sana kama kijana. Lakini kuanzia leo. Nina uba unisaidie. Nime kijana mwenye hekima. Na uka nyekevu. Katika jina la yesu. Nisaidie. Leo nime uba. Na nime wakoka. Amen. Uba sepi fiteko uba. I'm done now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 And it was very important to have it today. And for that reason, I want to thank you so much for the opportunity on your behalf. And the behalf of all the young leadership. And I pray that our city of Boston will be blessed and be happy. Thank you, Askofu. Thank you, Askofu. Thank you, Askofu. Thank you, Askofu. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service.
kazi ya ibada ya ibada especially now when the past starts Hasua sasa wakati mfungo umeanza. Na bado uko hapo ukifanya kazi kwa ajili yetu. We are glad alone. Tumejifunza mengi. Na tuasema asante. Tumejifunza mengi. Tumejifunza mengi. Ombila mtu. Mtu sote. Ni kwamba tusipoteze kila kitu tumepata leo. Praise the Lord. Uh, 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 I am shocked to see we have very many youth in the church. In, in it, we are proud. Let us I want to appreciate the team from Matare North. Can you rise up? Our pastor from Matare North. We are so grateful that you came to protect this. And you came in a number. Thank you so much. When you hear of it again, Karibu. The doors are open in Kidurai You can always come and partake. And take it there. Na kupeleka pale. And be a blessing to someone also. Na kuwe baraka kwa mtu pale. Do we have any other older who joined us for this conference? Je, tuna mababu wengine yote ambao walingana nasi katika kiliko ngamano? So the rest are kitu like what Kwa hivyo wengine ni kutoka kitu like what I right over there I see our moms there uh, I see past I listen to the mama take the vision up to this hour. Naona mama eh mama eliza bem na pasta bem kwani. Amen. Hadi wakati huu. Amen. Also listening. Pia wanasikia. Amen. Amen. That's a big concern. Hiyo ni kushughulisha kwa nguvu sana. They wanakuwa wanapokaa hapa. Ina nena kwetu sana. Their parents Oh, the ones as in the cheeks. But they are here. Hallelujah. So please let us not let us not break their hearts. Let's make sure that we can keep everything we've taken. I believe you did not. Yes, you did not. Amen. 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 So it's very important that you keep those notes. So you are going to be able to keep those notes. And we will find it to them from time to time. Let us serve the Lord. Let us serve the Lord. Let us serve the Lord. And also serve the society. And we will find it to them from time to time. Amen. Amen. So, uh, because of time, I know we should have taken our tea, but now this is where we are. Sukui ingine tutakunya chai na soda. Mara moja kulipisa hii. Amen. So, we are going to have a short time to pray. Amen. 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 We can combine next time. So uh, we also appreciate the work you do in the house of Jerusalem. Why you clap to yourself? Serving in the technical team, serving in the camera crew, serving in the worship team, serving leopard here, working on this ground. I see you it's up in B, being here, BC, leopard in here, day and night. May the Lord really bless you. In my life, the only time I've seen people preparing even over night is during the meetings of the Lord. This is the only church I've seen people working even to the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we really appreciate that discipleship. Because you prepare yourself. And uh, I'm happy that we have learned a lot. So precious youth. We have the past here. Um, past Wellington. Because these people come from different areas. I believe you will guide them. Uh, out the past in a few years, so it's equally. But we want to assure you that we'll be proud. Amen.
Very fast and then uh, we will pray. Can you give your hand a youth who are traveling from Kemu? Kemu or Kemu? Is it Kemu or Kemu? University in Meru. Please allow her to wait to us as she is. Where is she? And she comes where? Come here. 